G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Alright, so today we're going to learn how to do the uh, setting up your scene for Octane Render. Now this tutorial will be doing some stuff which will be um, be dedicated into another separate um, tutorial later down the track. But so this is just to um, show you what needs to be done in order for Octane Render to actually render it. Start. Open a scene that you have. I made a scene earlier, as you can see here. There's so the first thing we have to do is obviously show you what's um, happening. So the first thing you'll see is Octane Render. There's a tab here, a custom tab here for Octane Render, and here you have these following buttons for materials, or actually five materials for portals your dedicated Octane Render camera, your environments, your light node. Here you have two, two buttons that converts materials. This is for convert all materials. This is for convert selected materials to it. And here you have changing all rendered objects to unique names and the user manual. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, in the camera. As you can see here, it will import your Octane rendered camera. It's this button which creates this. You can either select the camera body or the pivoting, uh, the pivot point that the camera follows. Get out of the way. So as you can see, it moves the, the uh, camera moves to the pivoting point, or the camera moves around the pivoting point. Now bear in mind, if you choose the pivoting point, you cannot access the camera options. You can only, you have to select the camera in order to get the camera options. So let's just look through the selected, which is through panels and look through selected. Uh, this is within the mail, you should know this. So now I'm viewing through the Octane rendered camera. Now please do not mess any of the camera attributes or the film back settings. Go and only mess around in the Octane Render camera settings. Here you have all the options um, that's uh, with Octane Render. So the first one we're going to do is put the aperture to zero since for some reason it starts at one which blurs everything out. The slider itself um, is um, high valued. I do not know why this is. It should change in the future. So put the aperture to zero and change it when you best feel that's necessary. Next we're just going to click these buttons here just so we know what we're rendering. Next we have to put an environment in so just quickly press the uh, Octane Render environments. The options will come up here um, so just uh, move that where it's not in the way. The uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, highlight all materials and we're going to just quickly slap a Lambert material since Octane Render needs an environment and also well, it doesn't need an environment, it will just turn black but it should need an environment to see what you're doing and it needs a material to be set and it has to be only an Octane Render material obviously. So once that's done we go to the render settings and we switch it to Octane Render and here you see we have one, two, three, four, and five uh, tabs. The common is a common which is in everything. I like to turn color management, a little pet peeve I have. Um, here you have the Octane Render settings, render kernel. Um, all of this will be um, meant, uh, will be gone through in the other tutorials, but this is just how to set up your scene. So obviously we have to click your QDA devices, and you have to do this for every time you open up uh, Octane Render Maya and then you hit render and my render viewports on the other side so let's just move that okay so here we have the octane render viewport and as you can see it updates automatically which is extremely extremely cool you will have to refresh the render for new geometry and for new environments but this is the octane render pretty much the octane render viewport it's rendering in real time and also if you're moving geometry around 
oh sorry um, you have to refresh it so let's just quickly move something obviously it's not picking up the it so refresh it and there you go real-time rendering within Maya using utilizing Octane render trades a pretty bad positioning for that um, let's just I'm just gonna doing a test you do not know do not know what I'm doing here you do not have to know what I'm doing here so yeah looks pretty cool doesn't you have to don't have to refresh it for the turning around also I just remembered you also have to triangulate your 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 geometry I was wondering why there we go you have to triangulate your your scene which is very annoying all right so that's pretty much how to uh, um, set up your scene to get it working um, so just remember all these stuff you have to do um, next we will be going into the uh, basics of you know where the materials are image based texturing putting your spec we'll be doing it both in the hyper shade and just the nodes area then we'll be learning about generators, live database, environment, cameras, imager, render settings, and working within the Hypershade, which is just creating a random texture within the Hypershade editor. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.